Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And hopefully today will just be a very quick video. Um, as you can see, um, <laughs> I had to do this on a, I had to fix this issue on a separate computer. So I just, you know, was looking up the image that comes up when it says uh, unidentified network. You know, and that's pretty much what you'll see here, um, at, at least in uh, Windows 10. But also Windows 11 and even going back to uh, Windows 7. So, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty easy fix. And typically, it's because your DHCP is not enabled uh, to the Ethernet. But let's just show you how to fix it. How about that? <laughs> That's the simplest way here. So, all right. So, we see this issue and we go, oh, crap, man. I can connect on my Wi-Fi, but I can't connect to my ethernet what's going on here you know and you you know i i updated the drivers you know i made sure all the cords were okay and so forth uh testing different you know testing my laptop and whatnot and you know same thing so I'm like, all right let's see if we can trust windows here so <laughs> so what we're gonna do here uh man i gotta go to bed but i'm on weird hours anyway is you're gonna want to go to the network center so wherever you have your internet access, uh, just go to open network and internet settings, right? And on mine, you'll see, yes, you're connected to the internet, um, but on yours, you may see, um, you know, you have, was, um, an, you know, basically you're connected to an unidentified network. So, and it might say no internet or limited internet, something to the, along those lines. Anyway, so to make this very simple, what you would do is, um, <laughs> well, you can go to change adapter options. Oops, click that once in here. Is it there? Okay. And we know it's, well, I know it's this one, you know, it's my local area connection, the one that I'm using my actual uh, Cat5 or Cat6 wire for, and literally all I'm going to do is right click and click diagnose. So they, Windows or Microsoft did an excellent job um, as far as uh, their troubleshooters go. Um, with, with, with Windows 10, they did a really good job, and they're doing uh, an even better job in Windows 11, if there is an issue, or they're starting to. So, basically, I probably won't come up with any errors. So, your yours might come up, most likely, it should say, like, DHCP is not enabled for Ethernet use, right? Um, I don't have an issue here. So when you do see that issue come up, there's basically an option that says fix this issue. Uh, let it go through, close the troubleshooter, and then, so I'm just going to close it. And then you'll see this right here where it says local area connection. You will see it, uh, you know, the SSID name. So mine is Paul 2.4 gigahertz, right? Um, so instead of it saying um, unidentified network and so forth, you'll actually see the name of uh, the router and you, you'll be good to go from there. So I really had to do this because I needed to, to do something in safe mode and I couldn't get my Wi-Fi to work in safe mode. So, but my ethernet would show up. I just couldn't get online. So and now I'm online, so it's really that simple. So don't worry, it has nothing to do with like, you know, it's not any like crazy thing that's happening. Do this first, do the uh, the network troubleshooter first. You can, you, can, you can click network troubleshooter, or you can just right click on the actual device itself and click diagnose and just do that. It's literally that simple. So. If nothing comes back, I mean, I'll be really, really surprised. Um, if nothing comes back, then yes, I would obviously check your cords, um, check um, 
you know, make sure your uh, drivers are updated. So for that, you can use CCleaner. Uh, has, you know, and a, it's an amazing program that lets you uh, download new drivers for free, reset the router, reset the computer, and then there's, you could also look online, you know, this is like less case scenario, you know, worst case scenario um, is you would go into a command prompt and you would basically like release your network, so to speak. So, um, and like I said, that's, that's worst case scenario, but you shouldn't even have to deal with that. Um, and you can even do that in here. That's worst case scenario, network reset. But all you're going to do, like simplest way, change adapter, change adapter options, right click on the device, diagnose, follow the troubleshooter, and 99.9% .9 of you should be okay. So I really hope this video helped. I was just, I was stuck for a second too, and I was like, oh crap, let me just try this, and boom, there it was, you know, Windows uh, has saved the day, not like the previous version, so um, good job, Windows 10. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.